help you too. Stroke victim Russell Conyer can barely speak these days. We're trying some new technology for you today. The 61-year-old also has epileptic seizures. Toilet? Hey? He and his fiancée Karen Caddis were eager to sign up for a care bot study in the hope it would make communication easier. It's like a guessing game sometimes because you want something else and you can't, he can't verbally say it. Using algorithms, robotics and sensors, the Brisbane startup is bringing together cutting edge technology to suit individual needs. A bed that can monitor everything from fevers to falls, choking hazards to bedwetting, and eye gazing technology used by gamers to communicate. There you go, drink, food. The study is focusing on acquired brain injuries, those who need assisted living and their carers. So very much recreating the level of care that you would have in an intensive care facility in a hospital, but bringing that and doing that at home. QUT avionics graduates are writing the algorithms and road testing the combined tech for privacy and accuracy. Well, for us, the uh, more first is the integration of fit for purpose technology in a fit for purpose um, bricks and mortar house. We want the participants to live in a home and feel like they're in a home. Russell now lives in a suburban care home in Ipswich. At least now I, I can go home and if Russ has a seizure, they're going to know. Robots have been used in medicine for more than 30 years, but AI is transforming home care. So this study is also looking at how developing technologies can bring about social change and ease the burden on carers. It's the future. You know, right now Queensland needs 9,000 healthcare workers and we believe the missing link is technology. Hey bub, kiss kiss. Love you. Do you love me still? Yes. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.